Let's look at this uh, 2000 Earl Scruggs standard. Here we go. <laughs> Let's look at this banjo, and once of course, like everything else, it's got your presto tailpiece, one-piece armrest, uh, one-piece flange banjo, and of course, uh, Gibson hasn't made any banjo since 2010. The Earl Scruggs banjo is by far the most popular banjo that we've had. We've sold probably four times as many of these as whatever the next most popular banjo that we've had. And uh, we'll go up the uh, neck. Uh, this one's in really good condition. Okay. And we'll do a close-up, you know, just a little bit of marking on the fingerboard here. And we just tell you this because when you get the banjo, open the case. We want you to uh, know what you're getting before you get it. Okay. So we'll turn the, uh, turn it over. And uh, we're looking at the back of the neck. And look at the resonator. So we can go up. We'll let the cameraman at his discretion. So uh, really good condition. And, of course, a 2000 is pretty desirable. You know, it's almost a 90s. And you can look at the resonator. And then uh, we take the resonator off. Set her down, and uh, we look at the banjo itself, and there it was, uh, there it is, November of 2000, okay? So there's there's the uh, Gibson sticker, and of course you've got the three-ply hard rock maple rim. Uh, as I say, the banjo, the hardware, I don't know if you noticed it, but most of the banjos that we have, the hardware is incredible. So one of the things we do, uh, we'll buy a banjo that really doesn't look very good. Uh, metal is all corroded, and we will have a special buffer, special rouge, special everything. And this was taught to us by uh, a banjo manufacturer, and he was kind enough to tell us exactly what equipment to use and even trained us because if you don't know what you're doing, you can kind of mess it up and, you know, take the nickel off the banjo. Anyway, so the banjos, and this takes to take it apart, make sure everything's okay, buff it perfectly, 
put it back together, this takes about four hours. Now, if there's anything wrong with the banjo, we also, and it's beyond our scope, we have uh, two expert uh, repair men that can correct it. And honestly, I go visit Steve Huber about every six weeks, and he's kind enough to look at banjos if I have a question, and they, as I'm there, they can uh, correct all kinds of little problems, okay? So when you get the banjo from us, it should be pretty darn correct, uh, maybe 100% even. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, or if you have questions about the banjo, uh, just call Andy at 404-372-5482 or go to banjowarehouse.com. Okay, now one other thing I do want to tell you is that uh, the uh, fifth string capos were really popular at this time, the Shub, and there's two little, they're, they're pretty small, little in, indentations or holes where the screws were, and if you didn't look carefully, you may not notice them. And once again, I've seen people make them disappear, but we don't get into that. And uh, that's, basically, uh, that's basically it. So if you have any questions, give us a call. If you want to come visit us, we've got, man, about 140 different used banjos. Uh, it, it kind of blows my mind, honestly. Uh, it usually takes me about 30 minutes if somebody comes in just talking to you just to figure out what you want. I mean, you're welcome to go through 140 banjos if you want, but after about five or six banjos, you start getting tired. So what I try to do is go through our inventory and find banjos that are either in the price range you like or the style that you like. Well, that's it. Uh, if you do want to visit us, give us a day's notice. And if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get some more of them. We'll see you later. Bye.